country, do you really think that Azerbaijan <coughs> is a tolerant country? Uh, indeed, from uh, experience uh, in the religious field and after several visits uh, to that country, four in all, uh, I've had the opportunity to investigate the relations between uh, Muslim communities and non-Muslim uh, communities in a predominantly uh, Islamic uh, country. And uh, I must say that those relations are quite peaceful, that uh, there are excellent uh, uh, inter-religious uh, relations at the top level, but also between the various populations. For example, uh, Jews and uh, Muslims and Christians uh, participate in each other's uh, religious uh, festivals. We also saw that... Sorry, what about, what about job, for example? Do you have a problem to find a job if, if you're a Christian in Baku, for example, or yeah. somewhere else? No, because it's not about uh, the, the festivals, it's no, no. about life. Yes, yes, sure. Uh, so the, the fact that you, are, you belong to a specific uh, uh, religious minority uh, or not uh, has absolutely no influence on the fact that uh, you are looking for a job or for housing uh, or uh, for any other opportunities uh, in social life. Uh, because uh, people identify themselves first as Azerbaijanis. And but what, what about women? Do you think that yeah, so, uh, they have real equality? So there is equality between men and uh, women. They have the same rights, uh, uh, I mean custody rights, for example, inheritance rights, uh, and so on. And this is a, a heritage from the past, and I would say including from the Soviet period, where you had that equality of citizens, whether you're male or female, or you, you belong to any social group. Uh, what are the complaints, if any, on tolerance? Because apparently, the are complaints as well. So what can be improved? Yeah, for example, concrete example that you have? <laughs> uh, you know, of course, about Armenian community. Oh, yes, the Armenian. There, there is a there is great fear. So we have to deal with that. We have to deal with this heritage and with this situation. Uh, so what do you think, what is your message to Armenian community, especially people living in Karabakh? Uh, Yes, it's a bit difficult uh, question because we, we dealt with religious groups and not, uh, and not ethnic groups uh, uh, like the, the Armenian community. Uh, so uh, I would say that anyway there, there should be a message of tolerance going from both sides, the Azerbaijani side towards the Armenians and from the Armenian side to the Azerbaijani side and to promote a dialogue between uh, both uh, communities. So you think today the event was useful, it was contributing? It, it was useful and contributed because people didn't know there was a form of secularism in Azerbaijan It was different from the French laïcité, for example. And that, that form of secularism was constituting a framework uh, that could provide uh, peace and security for all religious groups uh, and uh, stability in the region. Do you think the European Union has something to learn from Azerbaijan? I think that uh, the Azerbaijan uh, model of secularism uh, should be more visible, especially in the Muslim world, where, uh, for example, in Egypt, in Tunisia, in other uh, Arab Spring countries, they are looking for new constitution, uh, for a, a new, uh, well, uh, social deal. Uh, and in Azerbaijan, for example, there is no privilege to Islam. Islam is not mentioned any at all uh, in the constitution as a privileged religion as we can have with the Catholic Church in a number of Western European countries. Thank you very much, Willy Fokre. Thank you.